Hello, this is Santa here, and welcome back to Model Kit Monday. This week, we're taking a look at the Rio Grade RX Zero Unicorn Gundam Zero Two Banshee Norn. Now, this is the kind of model kit that you totally anticipate when another one is released. That being specifically the Rio Grade RX Zero Unicorn Gundam. The second that that was announced, I was like, okay, start counting the days until they make a Banshee. I was surprised that they jumped straight to the Banshee Norn instead of making a uh, standard Banshee, but I do not mind because I really do like the Norn. Um, I imagine at some point we're probably going to get either an options part set, kind of like how the Rio Great Exia got the repair parts, or an entirely separate kit that's the regular Banshee. Um, but for now, this is what we have. So, um, you're probably wondering what's the difference between this and, you know, regular Unicorn. Well. First of all, uh, I can finally show the height difference between Unicorn Mode and Destroy Mode for this base uh, model here. Uh, which you can see, it's, it's you know, pretty good uh, height change. Honestly, kind of surprising. Uh, but yeah, we'll pull this guy aside for now. Uh, because we want to focus on what is different with this kit. So I did a full review of the Unicorn, which you can check out on my channel. Um, and that video really covered everything in depth. So what I want to do this time is kind of cover what's new and different. Uh, so let's start off with uh, weaponry. So the uh, beam rifle here uh, is the same beam rifle as the one that came with the Unicorn. Uh, it's got the removable uh, clip, which can peg to the back of the skirt piece uh, and can be positioned uh, in multiple different ways here. Um, it is, you know, same hand, just in a different color. Now this back part doesn't have the extended stock that the unicorns did to add the extra um, to add the extra ammo clip because it doesn't actually have that. Um, but there's a handle on top here. I'm not really sure what purpose the handle on top serves, but there is a uh, handle on this side for that. Now you'll notice this piece is new. Uh, it actually let's not pull the whole gun apart here. Let's get that wedged in. Uh, this piece here, you can actually pull it straight off. Uh, it just kind of clips on. Um, but this piece is designed to hold the uh, extended barrel piece. Now that piece um, here, which we'll take a look at, is here. So this is a um, expanded grenade launcher slash, I think it's a beam grenade launcher. It's kind of strange. Um, but this just, you know, this can clip onto the back like this. Uh, so you can actually carry it separately. Um, probably in unicorn mode more than destroy mode. Um, you can actually, and then you have to pull this clip out here and rotate it back in. So now you've got the barrel ready to go. Now popping this off, you'll notice this part's different because this barrel piece actually does come out. So you can flip it around and insert it back in, capping it back off. You get this cool uh, beam effect, uh, which is a laser beam effect. It can actually be used as a beam saber, um, which is pretty handy. Uh, so if you did want to do that, you can, but I'm not really going to demonstrate that here. Uh, the main purpose is to stick it in the barrel like this, then put this into uh, the beam rifle. So you kind of get this firing uh, grenade launcher kind of look to it uh, with a cool beam effect that's, you know, not a, a pink beam effect, so it's different and new. Um, but that's basically the entire gist of the beam rifle. Um, that's all of its functionality. Uh, other accessories-wise, yep, beam sabers, standard. Uh, things. Um, we also have, of course, the pilot fitter, <laughs> pilot figure. Uh, this is naturally because of the Norn. This is a uh, Ensign Riddy, um, Riddy Marcissus. If I can't focus on this because it's black, um, black plastic is really hard to focus on camera. By the way, um, but really nicely sculpted figure. If you really wanted to paint it, I'm sure you could. Um, I, I imagine if we did get a regular Banshee, we'd get a Marita Cruz uh, for that. Um, standard uh, stand clip. This works with any Gundam action base. Um, I'm probably gonna use this black one. Um, I need to buy new action bases. I really, I really only have outdated ones. Uh, then we of course got the open hands here, plus another holding hand, uh, just like the one that was holding the beam rifle. And then we get to the shield. Now the shield is mostly new. And I, what I mean by mostly new is you can actually strip this down um, to the basic shield that came with the unicorn. Um, as if you notice here, it's got the same sliding mechanism. Um, and then it's got this new piece here, but 
in destroy in uh, unicorn mode, this actually stores on the back. So if you come around to the back here, um, this whole back part's new, we'll get to that, but you can actually plug this in and it does actually fit really well. Um, you just gotta kind of fold the rest around it, like so. Um, it makes them kind of back heavy, but if you got them on an action base, this won't be a problem at all. Um, and overall, really looks good. Uh, in in canon, it actually does fire from up there, so it is useful in battle, but it, it looks incredibly ridiculous. Um, but overall, it looks pretty cool. Uh, now, they did release this in unicorn colors for the Bond Danse version of the unicorn, which is a limited run kit, basically only coming with these runners, but it was just the standard real grade unicorn. Um, now, this piece here comes off, and that was something they, I think they announced after the Banshee, which which makes sense. It's like, hey, we're also going to do the Bond Danse because it's the same shield. Um, so you want to slide the wrist clip on. So this will actually be a clip to the wrist. Uh, you can actually also do it this way um, if you want the shield to go behind the arm. Um, I personally never really like that kind of look, um, so I'm just going to flip it back around here. And yeah, so this is the uh, shield. Now, this will actually transform for the um, destroy mode, so we'll get a look at that uh, now, actually. Um, let me just get this out of the way. So transformation here, it's pretty simple. You just pull this open, pull this open, pull these open, pull this part down, flip these out like that, pull these out like this, and you're pretty much done. Now, these actually can go further. Uh, if you really want them to, um, because these are all just on swivels. I kind of like it like that. It's my personal preference. But yeah, I really do like the shield. Uh, it's a great upgrade to the original. Um, and I do mean it is just like a straight upgrade, because you can actually um, you can actually just make this into the regular shield. You pull this part off. Um, there's an actual couple clip pieces here that will actually hold this in place. But yeah, if you wanted to just strip it down and just be the regular uh, unicorn shield, totally, totally possible. Um, that just goes there. So yeah, that's the shield. That's pretty much the basis of the new bits of the transformation aside from the backpack. But let's take a look closer at the destroy mode. Oh, real quick, there are the alternate parts like the solid horn and the uh, permanently fixed open horn. I prefer the transformation horn. So taking a look at the head uh, here, you know, this, uh, this is a new piece around the collar, uh, which looks really cool. But the head is a new design. Um, mostly because the head crest, the actual mouth plate is different as well. Um, and it looks really good. Uh, just like with the unicorn, you didn't need too many stickers. Uh, there's a sticker for the eye parts, um, and there's some other like little detail stickers you can add, but really didn't need too many stickers on this kit, uh, which is nice. The horn, I love how this horn actually lines up with the transforming horn, but the transforming horn is a little warped, so it is kind of split. Um, I'm not leaving it in unicorn mode. If I was, I would swap it to the solid horn. Uh, coming around the backpack, technically it does go like this to hide all the gold. This does not peg together at all. It's just kind of back here. Um, I think it's kind of like a little bit of an issue, but you kind of need to be able to wiggle it around in order to fit the shield back here. So it all kind of works out. Um, but there's that. Now, there are stickers that go on the inside. So if you're assembling this kit, be sure to put the stickers on the inside on the actual blue parts so that when you put the gold and clear over it, you actually get that nice shine. But yeah, same articulation as the unicorn. Everything in the neck down is basically the same. It's just now in uh, blue and gold. It's like a very dark navy blue and gold. Um, a couple things I've noticed. Uh, the legs don't hold together as well. As you notice, this action kind of happens a lot. Um, and I'm not really sure if that's like a joint tolerance thing or if that was just like me building it and filing more because this was a darker colored kit. Um, I'm not really sure on that. Uh, also, the cockpit does open. Uh, like that. So you actually do have the opening cockpit feature, uh, which is really cool. Um, I do appreciate that in real grades. And articulation is the same. I'll just kind of say it. Uh, ball joint, uh, head, universal shoulders, bicep swivel, double joint, elbow, wrist, uh, ball joint, waist joint, all the skirt pieces move, um, outward, um, outward hip movement in both directions, forward, back, uh, swivel at the thigh, double joint, knee, ankle tilts, um, left and right, up and down. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool uh, overall, and yeah, that's pretty much there is to the unicorn mode. So to, to transform to destroy mode, it's exactly the same as the unicorn, so I'm not going to show it on camera. Like I said, go check out the other video. I will show this part. Um, if you have it like this, let's just start from here. Uh, these actually just fold up and around like this, and it kind of works just like the uh, beam saber handles. 
Speaking of beam saber handles, they're right there. So you can actually pull those out if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, these just fold around like this. And then you got the little uh, side thrusters come out. Um, so there you go, there's the back part. Um, this part's actually popping out on mine. Okay, I'll have to fix this, there we go. Um, so you got that, and then the head is the same exact thing as the unicorn, it's just got a slightly different design. So I'm gonna pull this guy away and he'll come back in destroy mode. Here is the Banshee Norn in destroy mode. Now, this is the, probably most people, and at least for me, I'm gonna be leaving him in destroy mode on display. Because this is kind of like, you know, the more, like, it's a Gundam mode. But, uh, oh man, do I love the look of this. Uh, everything I like about Unicorn, except in gold and dark blue, which is really, it looks like black, but it's a really dark blue, which makes it much more animation accurate in a way. A lot nicer. Um, one of the things you'll notice is, of course, the new head uh, pieces. Um, of course, the new, I like the Unicorn horn in addition to the, um, actual V-fin, which I think is really nice. The red eyes are really striking, um, as well as the backpack uh, area. You can see all the clear bits have silver stickers behind them, um, which looks really, really nice. Um, the opened up parts, uh, hey look, I didn't mess up the crotch this time. Did that on the Unicorn review, but uh, yeah, overall this thing looks really cool. Um, I love just, I love the the Unicorn Gundams, the the two of them, their, their design element of color seeping through um, just a stark single color, whether it's white or black. Uh, I just, I do really like that. It is just a nice striking look uh, to him. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him the shield. Uh, clip straight to the arm here. Um, we should, let's give him the beam rifle now. Just cause we can. And Oops, I pulled the arm together again. Um, something I did notice with this kit, it doesn't, it's not as solid as the Unicorn was, and I think it's because of just the fact that this kit's been released, or the, you know, this base kit's been released, like, this is like the third or fourth release of it, but uh, there's that. We'll give, him a, we'll give him an open hand here, just to throw in some variety. I noticed a lot with the arms not sticking as well, but... Uh, yeah, so there is the Banshee Norn Destroy Mode. And the reason why I set him up exactly like this was to be able to bring in the Unicorn Destroy Mode in the same pose with the same weapons. So you can just kind of see that despite being the same base kit, uh, they're very different in a lot of ways. Um, it's not just color, but, you know, I, like I said, pretty much everything like waist down is the same, but, you know, new backpack pieces, you know, like the standard traditional beam saber handles here. They are still here, they're just embedded. Um, they have the cool like gold extra armor part. Uh, of course the shield's just beefed up. Um, and then of course the beam rifle is just a monster now. Um, so, you know, I, I really kind of hope that we'll get a full armor unicorn and I do hope that we get a regular Banshee because that would be super cool. Um, I do really enjoy this kit. Um, but yeah, there's, there's kind of your side-by-side -side comparison. Overall, real great Banshee Norn is really good. It takes everything good about the Unicorn, uh, beasts up with some new parts. Now, question is, do I think it's better than the Unicorn? I would say nah, no. And it's kind of hard to say that because really, it's like saying, is this, this is apple, is this, is this golden delicious apple as good as this red delicious apple? It's like, well, one's golden and one's red. They're both good. They're just good in different ways and it comes down to personal preference. I think for me, uh, I do really enjoy the Banshee style, so I would kind of rank it a little bit above the Unicorn in just design, but in functionality, I think the shield kind of, you know, is kind of hard to use because it's so big. I do love how big it is, but it is kind of, see how it's bumping into the backpack there. And the head just being kind of really restricted, it makes it really hard to pose them. Uh, in those two areas, but overall, it's still a really good kit. And like I said, it does come down to personal preference. Do you like Golden Delicious or do you like the Red Delicious? You just gotta pick your apples here. Um, it's really, I can't say one's better than the other. Um, they're both really, really good. The Unicorn base mold is is so good and I, I do hope we get more 
uh, kits in the future. So overall, the Banshee Norn does make a nice addition to the Unicorn collection of real grades. Um, we've only gotten three, uh, plus the Bomb Downside version of him. And I hope we see more. So as it does it for this week on Model Kit Monday, stay tuned. In the near future, I got Build, uh, build Fighters reviews of semi-recent kits, and not just ones from years ago. And uh, I do have a couple build divers items uh, that will be on the way soon. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Until next time, it's not saying. Goodbye.